Today, I want to speak about the four ways that you can get started with index ETF investing. And um, as I do sometimes, I have prepared a little diagram for that. It's basically just one slide uh, that shows um, the four ways that you can use to get started with index investing. If you are listening to this in audio, um, if you're listening to this in audio, uh, you can find this diagram in the, in the description. Um, and if you're watching this video, hopefully you can see my screen because I just shared it. And sometimes <laughs> I'm not sure if it does share. Um, hopefully it does share. And if it doesn't, then uh, you'll see the link in the description as well. Um, but so basically there are four main ways to get started with index ETF investing. Um, and the most common way that we see in the financial independence community and in the index investing community is the full do-it-yourself approach, um, which is basically exactly what the name means. <laughs> you learn everything on your own uh, and you start implementing on your own. So um, index investing is not complicated, right? Um, there, there is quite a bit of knowledge that you need to absorb and then you need to actually take action. So create your strategy, you create your investment plan and then take action and implement it. So there's four levels of knowledge, which we talked about previously. There's the level of evidence, there's a the level of the philosophy, the level of strategy and the level of tactics, which is implementation. Um, and so when you go for full DIY index investing, you have to learn all four of them. Um, and often you can find a lot of information on the evidence, the philosophy, and sometimes some on strategy, but not so much on tactics. Um, so it can be tricky to get to actually take action. Um, but um, most of us in the, the FI community have done it that way. Um, it can be tough, uh, um, but it's possible. <laughs> I have personally learned that way. Um, when I started back in 2011, 2012, there was very little information on, you know, on, on the tactics around this for non-US citizen. Um, but I found my way, you know, I found my way through and I, uh, in the end, I've started investing. Um, but it wasn't without hiccups. And so it took me about two years to actually get to invest properly. And then I probably refined my investing approach over two or three years after that. So it, like overall, maybe five years, including mistakes and sort of, you know, growing in with experience and learning to do this the right way. Um, um, but it doesn't have to take you <laughs> three to five years. Nowadays, you can probably start in a few few months, maybe a year, um, and, and learn along the way. Uh, the the one risk that I see is that you might start without having you know the full experience of someone who's been doing this for years, um, and so that that could lead to some mistakes. But uh, typically, someone should be able to start on a, on their own pretty easily. Um, a lot there's a lot of resources, as I said, on on the philosophy and the strategy, um, and you can find them on the internet. A great place to go to are, is the Bogglehead's website, both the, the, wiki, the wiki pages uh, on the Bogglehead philosophy. Also, there's one for the Belgian uh, investment, for investing from Belgium, <laughs> and then the forum is also invaluable. Uh, another great place to go to is the Fire Belgium, the Financial Independence Belgium Facebook group, uh, but also the Reddit, uh, Fire, uh, B Fire for Financial Independence Belgium. So that's if you're in Belgium. Otherwise, there's probably some groups uh, for your country and you can learn from there. Uh, if you're in the Middle East, then simplify.org is an excellent place to go to. Uh, that's the other group I run and um, we provide a lot of free information there and we help people start investing. So basically, this is what I do. I help people start with full DIY. These videos are there for that as well as to give you um, my perspective on certain aspects of uh, investing and financial independence so that you can actually get started on your own. The second level is DIY with coaching. So this is more for people who need a little bit of extra help uh, and who, despite all of the free information out there, are still confused. Um, this is investing uh, with the guidance of someone who has done it before. So that could be a friend, that could be someone from the community, it could be a coach, um, anyone with the right experience. Um, just make sure they have the right experience and they'll guide you in the right direction. I would say again here, um, you know, making sure you have the, the, the understanding at the evidence level and philosophy level uh, to make sure that whoever is giving you advice is basically, you know, in line with that and is really focusing on evidence-based investing methods rather than what they think is the right way to go <laughs> based on, you know, 
market projections or whatever. I don't think that's very, um, we need to be careful with that. Um, now the benefits of that is obviously that you get to learn faster. You get to learn from someone with experience. Um, and so you probably avoid a lot of the beginner's mistakes. Um, <clears throat> um, I've seen people, you know, starting DIY, but then when they show me their portfolio, um, you know, they probably have issues with currency. They're, you know, paying taxes where they shouldn't. Sometimes they don't pay tax that they should. <laughs> um, the portfolio is not always very optimized, but uh, they actually have started and that's better than doing nothing. Um, uh, the downside is that it costs a bit of money. I don't know if that's really a downside. I mean, it's, it can be a very good service uh, for a fixed price. And uh, typically you get access to a lot of information and a lot of experience. Uh, so that prevents you from making costly mistakes that are often, you know, probably far more expensive than the actual uh, price to pay for, for to get coaching or to, to take an online course or something like that. Um, I am helping people doing DIY investing. I'm also helping people who need coaching and who want to take a course. Uh, so I'm developing both those aspects because I believe everyone who can go and learn on DIY on their own, they should go for that. Um, the people, there are people who need some help. And so I'm there to do that as well. Um, because I believe everyone should benefit from this. <laughs> uh, those who can learn on their own and those who need a bit of help um, as well. The next level is um, automated index investing with a robo advisor. So in the past 10 years, there's been an increase in firms, like a, a lot of development with firms that automate uh, index investing. And um, I would say a good portion of them are actually doing index investing right. Um, here, the benefit is that you have uh, a team of professionals who are going to take care of the tactics and the strategy for you, right? They'll help you develop your strategy. They'll actually just ask you a few questions and then decide on the portfolio for you. You obviously have always the right to make changes, but they will deal with all the tactics. So everything related to the transaction, the fees, the taxes, um, you know, uh, finding the ETFs, all of that is taken care of. Um, but you need to make sure again that they follow the right philosophy <clears throat> and that they uh, support evidence-based investing. This is a great tool if you want to get started fast and you know you want to learn, but uh, as you learn, you might want to start already uh, because one of the key aspects of index investing is that you want to be starting early. Um, and so if you want to postpone um, your learning, you can you can start with a robo-advisor, learn later, and then maybe continue with them or move on to maybe a DIY approach. Um, these are various options. Um, the little drawback with the robo advisor is the fee. Now, I, you know, in, in the financial community, financial independence community, a lot of people are very much focused on cutting costs and fees. And um, I see, <laughs> I see a lot of people going mad at the robo advisors asking for maybe one percent for managing portfolios and helping people start investing. I think, I think that's very, you know, it's justifiable because if they do a good job, then this is worth more than 1%, especially for small portfolios. Um, for larger portfolios, you might wanna think of ways of reducing that. So either you learn or you, you find a robo advisor that charges you less than ha ah, than that. Some of them are charging you not all the way to 0.5% for larger portfolios. Um, I believe that um, if done right, robo advisory is a great tool. It can help a lot of people get started fast without having to learn all of the details of you know, the strategy and the tactics of index investing. Um, and you can take your time to learn how to do it yourself if you want to at some point later, especially when your portfolio grows, I would say. And finally, the last, the last, way, <clears throat> the last way to get started is to work with a fee-only financial advisor who is aligned with the Boglehead strategy uh, and you know, who understands evidence-based index investing and is not there to play any tricks on you, but really to do what's best for you. Uh, to be honest, I don't know very many of those financial advisors. I think they are quite rare. I know one, his name is Mark Zorl. Uh, he's based in the US and his website is called Plan Vision and he provides great advice, um, but he doesn't do the full financial planning. If you're looking, if you have a more complex financial situation where you have, you know, complex um, tax situation, maybe a state in different places, uh, assets in different places, and you need someone to manage the whole thing, then a fee on your financial advisor would be great. Just make sure that they, they understand index investing and evidence based indexing uh, investing. Um, so someone with a complex portfolio or a large portfolio with complicated things might need those, those advisors. Um, as I said, I don't know very many of them. <laughs> I'd like to know more of them. Um, uh, it'd be great to see what's out there. So 
yeah, so these are the four ways. Um, first way is full DIY. It can take a bit of time, uh, but there's a lot of information that's out there for free. Uh, and there's a risk of making may maybe mistakes and starting, you know, with some delay. The second way is to go with a coach or take an online course or something like that to basically, um, you know, accelerate your learning and make sure you get uh, all the right advice in the right order uh, and you benefit from the experience of other investors, those who have made the mistakes before so that you can avoid them. It costs a bit of money, but it will accelerate and make sure you do things right from the, from the get-go. Um, and then we have the robo advisor, which costs you know a fixed percentage, and that can automate a lot of the stuff for you, um, basically taking taking care of most of it and reducing stress. And um, but yeah, this one percent, if you're aiming for financial independence, this one percent fee can will be a drag, <laughs> and can result in you know maybe a few years of extra work to get to FI, um, and that goes up even more if you go with a, uh, a fee only financial advisor or financial advisor that also charges with a percentage. Um, yeah, so these are the four ways that I have found a lot of people get started with. To be honest, I've seen mostly the first three and very few have gone for the last one. Um, but that's just, you know, my own my own circle of, of, of net, my own network, right? Um, I do help people with full DIY and DIY with coaching. Um, and uh, where, whatever I post is obviously to support both of those approaches because I believe people need to be aware of all this. Um, but also support RoboAdvisor um, and so automated investing through a specialized firm that will do index investing for you, I believe is a very good thing. Um, so if you hesitant, I would say give them a shot because um, they can make all of this far easier for you. And then when you're ready, just come to me and we'll, you know, learn, learn what you need to learn and then move on and, and start uh, full DIY, for example. Anyway, that's all for today. Um, this is an exciting topic, so I could speak about this for, uh, for hours, really. Uh, but I'm trying to keep them short, so there you go. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook now, then um, we'll speak this Tuesday night. We have a meetup. I'll post that in the description. Um, right, that's all for today. Take care, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>